California Giant Fairy Chef Invitational. And this is it. This is the last final recipe. We have done five amazing recipes so far and we're going off with a bang for our last one. We're doing Chef Bill Barker's Trace Berry Cakesicles and I am just so excited to make this. I love sweets so we're ending off with a sweet note. Who doesn't like cake? And now we're making it in a popsicle form. Okay, so to start off, it seems like it's just a normal cake mix, right? But it's not. We have a strawberry gelatin in here that's just probably gonna add such great flavor already. This smells so good. This is so beautiful. Most important part, we are gonna add in our pureed raspberry and strawberry. It smells so good. Mmm. That is so good. I love that fruity aspect with the gelatin too. And then you can look in here and you see the actual speckles of the pureed strawberry and raspberry streaming throughout. This is the cutest thing ever. I have mini cakesicles. So you can definitely get the big ones, but I thought the mini ones are just so cute and perfect for this. I've never made cakesicles. We're gonna pop these little cuties in the oven. They're gonna cook for about 15 minutes. All right, in the meantime, we are gonna make that blueberry glaze sauce that will end up pouring all over these little cakesicles. So we're gonna reduce this down even further into a glaze. We had them cooling. This is so adorable. So I'm gonna just plop them down. I'm gonna re-stick them. Look at this. I mean, this is like the most perfect, adorable little dessert. And I love the vibrancy of this color. We have another recipe that is so beautifully prepared. The colors are just gorgeous. And I love the use of adding the actual puree into the cake popsicle mixture. And then we have that gorgeous glaze with the freeze dried strawberries. So this is the moment of truth. I'm gonna take a little bite. There we go. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. Mm. I'm loving the contrast with the nuts on top, but then with everything, with the glaze inside, with the blueberries, and we have that puree. Take another little, mmm. Ooh, this is such a good recipe, Chef Bill. I have just absolutely loved seeing all these really interesting ways of adding cow giant berries to six fantastic recipes. So I'm gonna leave the hardest part up to you judges because you have your work cut out for you. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these recipes come to life and I look forward to seeing who you crown as your 2020 Chef Invitational winner. Woo, bye! <laughs>